All right, so this is Eugene and Compton Gardner. We're out here in my backyard orchard. What we're looking at here is my four persimmon trees that I have two planted in the ground here. You can see all the leaves already fell off. Yeah, those are all gone already. Um, but this is the structure of it here. You can see it's already passing my patio. So I'm gonna, of course, bring this back down to about a high. Right, cap it at like seven feet, and then uh, next year's growth will bring it back up to that eight to nine feet, and I'll just bring it back down again after I harvest all the fruits. But what I'll do also is clean up all of these ingrowing inward branches and stuff like that, just give it a nice structure. Um, but that won't be until late winter, early spring. But again, this is my four in one so here on the left of course is the the izu persimmon and then on the right is a regular fuyu uh, but on the izu let's bring it in a little closer here so you can see where I grafted my graft was right here you can see that where that black tar is right there that was the graft of the giant fuyu and you can see I got all of this growth here, which is going about five feet worth of growth. I still haven't gotten any fruit off of the giant persimmon, but that's this branch here. And then down below here, you can see this where it separates there. So that's the Fuyu and over here. This graft here is the uh, coffee cake, which you can see I have one fruit right here that I was protecting. That's the one that I'm gonna be removing today. The coffee cake is, for me, predominantly just uh, female flowers. So <clears throat> what happened, I got a fruit, but it wasn't cross-pollinated, most likely. Um, so, that's why I covered it up with that net so the birds don't get to it before I can harvest it. So now it's nice and soft there. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. And we'll open it up together. on there but let's get them out the way so here we have the coffee cake here usually if it's cross pollinated you'll get that chocolate cover color in there but like I said we might not get that that's why I just let it get soft kind of pruney so that I could uh Try to get rid of that astringency. Last year it was astringent. I only had one fruit and it was pretty astringent, so I didn't need it. There's Kane again. Hey Kane. Good morning, girl. Alright, set this up here. So, so you see it's not that chocolate color in there so this might be astringent it wasn't cross pollinated It's not astringent at all. That's sweet. Mm. What? Guys, this is incredible. It doesn't have that chocolate color, but the flavor 
sweeter than my other persimmons. And it's not too squishy, you know. Mm. It's actually a little too sweet. It's like candy. Anyway, 